Welcome, uh, everyone, oh, so to right. Season yeah. 2 Finals. This is okay. the Tabletop the Simulator and Sorcery and... League, and right. we are seeing the final match mm. between Will, who is from Pennsylvania, yeah. and Zach, right. who is from California. And we're just seeing them do their, uh, their setup and their mulligans, and I will try and comment as they are playing. We'll see how it goes. Um, so just for anybody who's not familiar with the Sorcery League, it's entirely free. Uh, okay. anybody can I'll join just do one. and it runs for about a uh, season is about seven or eight weeks long. And, um, well, that was a good mulligan. I don't know if people saw that. Um, yeah, good and right. it uh, runs, uh, for seven or eight weeks luck. and they're good just, luck. they're just jumping in. So maybe I'm going to pause for a second so when there's I a little will... bit of downtime. I'll tell you more about the league. But for now, I just want to comment on what's going on. So Will is playing um, Avatar of Earth oh, sorry, and um, is well, going first soldier. because he was higher seed in the regulation play. Uh, and um, he uh, mulliganed <laughs> a few cards and ended up drawing into Philosopher's Stone. Watch so Tower. obviously that is an excellent and turn pass. one play. He, as a result, did not right, get will... to create a um, soldier from Spell the Spell. Rustic Village because he needed the mana to play the Philosopher's I'll Stone. But this is going to vastly accelerate him I into, will... um, you know, right. other cards. It'll be interesting to see right here if he chooses to get the soldier. He has a soldier. choice between I'll getting the soldier from the Rustic Village or the Crown hmm. Prince. He went with the oh, Crown okay, Prince. It's interesting. I hey. might have... <laughs> Um, gone a little Untap. slower, maybe gone for the Good soldier spell. because right now the crown prince is vulnerable, Top but he does want to apply early game pressure. Avatar of Earth um, obviously cares a lot about getting earth sites in the middle of the board because the Avatar of Earth has a very range. powerful ability, which is plus one power for each nearby earth site. So um, Will's game plan is going to be to try and get some earth sites in the middle of the board. Um, and... I have not even had a chance to talk about Zach's deck. Zach is playing Pathfinder, and Pathfinder has I a very guess. interesting um, deck all construction right, so restriction, spell. which is that your Atlas, I'll which are the, all the ground. sites, cannot contain any duplicates. So he does not really know what sites are going to come out. And you can see he got one air threshold and then another air yeah, threshold. So he pissed. would have been very happy to play a turn two common sense, Untap. but he does not actually Draw. have any earth uh, threshold yet. Go ahead yet. and blink the Pathfinder. So he's okay. um, using blink right now to um, draw a card. I'm a little Tap surprised that he did that, but I guess he wanted and to be able to rock. not get yeah. stuck in the corner. So this keeps his avatar quite uh, mobile. And the Pathfinder, yeah. the way it works is you draw the top card of your atlas, see what it is, you reveal it, and then you play it to an adjacent void or rubble. Um, and so basically it lets you every turn draw a spell at the start of your yeah, turn. And over and over and over, um, draw a spell, and then simultaneously continue to play, um, play continue village. to play sites because you're using Pathfinder's ability. So you play get a lot of card here. advantage with the Pathfinder. Uh, One thing that I'm realizing now, because I was trying to talk and a lot was going on, well, the reason yeah, why nice. um, Zach used the blink on the Pathfinder over here was to draw stay some. out of range of the Pudge Butcher. So the Pudge Except Butcher Pathfinder. was. Um, you know, really getting ready key. to um, use its ability to and hit the Pathfinder if the Pathfinder didn't get out of the way. Here we go. So now we can All see right. the power of the card draw advantage. Um, Zach has six also. cards in hand and Will only has one. So um, hmm. now what's interesting here, the Earthquake. So Earthquake is going to let, I, I don't think that, Zach is going to play it. I mean, Will is going to play it now, but it will give um, Will a chance to rearrange sites to be able to get his units in position. Now, the the Root Spider right now is doing a great job defending the Watchtower. It's holding off the Phalanx and the Crown Prince. So I'm thinking that Will, maybe he's going to start moving his Avatar of Earth towards the middle, but he may end up tapping the Avatar of Earth to draw a site so that he can get up to more mana and just fill the board with more Earth sites. 
So we'll see what there, happens. Um, the fact no that this Pathfinder deck is also playing Earth Sites means that um, they're, they're, this the Avatar of Earth is going to just have a lot of power. And it'll be interesting to see if the Avatar of Earth That's gets all the way is. over to the Watchtower because the Root Spider only Jones disables site. minions. Not not the Avatar. So the Avatar of Earth can really do a lot of work. Um, and in some ways, the Root Spider will actually end up protecting the Avatar of Earth from other things like other minions um, that, that Zach may play. As we saw, um, Will did end up tapping the Avatar of Earth to draw another site. Um, it's probably not particularly what Will needs to, Will wants to see, that extra mana. Um, oh, interesting. Actually, I'm wrong about that. He did right, need, so gonna, he uh, absolutely did need the air threshold to be able yes. to play lightning bolt. And obviously there are a lot of grapple shots okay. and blink and things like that in Ooh, um, Will's deck. So that actually is a perfectly good site. Um, this is interesting. This is a triple uh, threshold earth. We'll see. Um, and yes, no so models. Will, uh, I mean, Zach play did get up to three. Game. He now has three earth thresholds. I'll go ahead and earthquake here oh my gosh and look at that that's an unbelievable right. earthquake holy cow so and i guess as far as triggers goes this would come back to yeah they're properly playing I the death right of the crown so. prince is going back into will's hand that is absolutely Ira correct Ira, can you confirm where they're asking me crown to confirm goes. absolutely death right for sure comes back into his hand for sure Okay. Because because of the phalanx, the phalanx are mortal, so absolutely. Yeah, I said if there's like an order of yeah. The, yeah. yeah, it works. Okay, so they played uh, it they played it correctly, but they just wanted a clarification. So yeah, so that that is a nice a little bit of um, um card advantage for Will, but obviously that was very effective. And move the root um, spider up. Root Spider is now going and into pass. Will's territory, um, really doing a good job defending Zach's territory. It's just very hard for Will right now to get in. But we do see the grapple shot. And if at any point the Pathfinder um, gets close or plays any sites in these in these sort of squares, um, the Avatar of Earth will be very happy to come in and attack. Um, I'm guessing that Will is going to just... Uh, I'm guessing maybe he's going to move I, yeah it'll be interesting to see if he plays or moves i would be inclined to move my avatar exactly. first to the village and then depending on where the pathfinder goes i could do something like next turn the play the gothic tower and then grapple shot sure. over um we'll see what happens um he has a, he's thinking about what to do stone. he doesn't really have many useful plays right here um one thing that um earthquake can do is rearrange the sites bringing your opponent's sites right. to you so for instance um the avatar of earth if it ends up attacking something that's on this middle site will end up doing three or four or five um this is a reasonable reasonable play getting the crown prince um crown depending prince on you know too. either way wherever the the pathfinder moves the crown prince will be able to um attack it um so you know i think that's reasonable i'm not sure what else he's thinking about maybe the lightning right, bolt right, now just, just because you have the mana but i think you save it to be able okay. to um untap deal with various Draw. threats it's interesting to see um Go ahead and just tap the pathfinder just the extreme card advantage that the pathfinder deck is getting um, um and Cloud City is quite flexible. It allows you to fly into uh, into a nearby void. Um, all right, so we're going to see what Zach does. Both of these players are actually playing pretty quickly, and it's hard for me to keep up Play with the commentary. We get another Root Spider. So, again, these Root Spiders are just doing a great job keeping the, keeping the Pathfinder safe. No common sense. And Pathfinder has six mana, so spent three mana for that. We'll see what he gets with the with the um, common sense. Uh, I don't know what it'll be. Uh, maybe a berry. Maybe another grapple shot. Go ahead okay, a blink, blink, blink. Perfectly reasonable. Um, just Shuffle. reminding him to shuffle. Okay. Um. So Blink makes your... sense, gives good mobility, keeps the Pathfinder mobile. Um, Here we go. So he's just keeping his he's keeping right. his Pathfinder, um, you know, nice and safe with the Root Spider. Very hard for the Avatar um, 
of Earth deck to get in with minions, but the Avatar of Earth could do a lot of damage itself. And this may be an example of the Avatar of Earth doing a huge amount of damage. We can see that the the Avatar of Earth deck just drew, um, Will just drew Blink. So the Blink can blink the Avatar of Earth to the Gothic Tower, and then the Avatar of Earth can attack on Cloud City for a lot. That's one, right, so two, play, three, play. four, five, six damage yeah, onto um, Cloud right, City. Right, right. And then... Uh, oh, he's thinking about where to go. Is? Yeah, of course. Sorry, and then there can also be a All grapple right. shot. This is going to be All a right, huge amount spell. of damage. Blink. All right. So um, this is this is actually very dangerous for the Pathfinder. We went from a situation that was quite safe to a situation that's quite dangerous. When the Avatar of Earth attacks the Pathfinder, I'm going to come in here um, and attempt to hit your sight. All right, so the um, yeah, so this root cool. spider is coming up to block, but that does allow the crown and does two damage to the avatar of Earth. But now that does allow the crown prince to come in and attack, and I I don't know I I would think the crown prince will come in and so attack. Play, like, grapple shot we get a grapple get shot in for one, two, three, four, four five, yeah, six, six damage. Um, yeah. Interesting. I might have considered okay, and the oh, crown prince three. comes in. That's three more. Um, so this is quite quite an exciting situation. Um, I don't, uh, th uh, I think there is enough mana to, to cast, um, common sense because we've spent only, uh, three this turn because sense. of Philosopher's Stone. We're seeing the power of Philosopher's Stone saving two mana in a single turn, um, you know, because, and getting another Gosh. grapple shot. Yes, that's incredibly powerful. Um, we, I'm sure that right, Zach on his turn will end up getting this pathfinder to a much safer Bruh. location. Um, and the, and the fact that the, uh, the cloud city is not um. going to be surrounded by a bunch of earth sites. Um, the, the cloud city is definitely, I I'm anticipating move the root spider will move. Here. Um, all right. So root spider has moved immobilizing Blink the, the crown prince. Here. Pathfinder blinks Drop and redraws, and now we're going to see seven. Uh, mm. Okay, I was going to say we're going to see seven here. mana. Um, this is uh, this is a great example of getting um, just getting <laughs> the minions in the wrong wrong place. Um, two, I, I think four, the Pathfinder is going to end up all the way on fourteen, and we can see that that Gnome Hollows is a very good counter Play to. To the avatar of earth because units which includes the avatar units cannot enter the site so even though the avatar of earth desperately wants to just attack things um it can't even get into gnome hollows and um the crown um. prince is immobilized on cloud city so uh i will say though this is not an ideal location for this earth site there are quite a few earth sites around so if and when the Avatar of Earth does get to where it needs to be, um, it's going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. And I would anticipate seeing um, an earthquake as a way of repositioning the, um, the Pathfinder and possibly killing a minion. So if, the, if this vampire gets played, uh, which it looks like the vampire will get played... Um, I guess he's thinking about if he only has five mana left. So he's thinking if he wants to uh, play the divine healing in case, in case there's a way for will to do 11 damage, which certainly depending on various cards, yeah, there vampire. is a way. Yeah. All right. So vampire there. So he's out of mana now because he played blink and pass. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to see right. the Spell. earthquake. Oh, and there's the gigantism. Okay, so we don't have an easy way to... I don't think there's an easy way for Avatar of Earth. Maybe maybe the Earthquake swaps the Gnome Hollows um, and the Cloud City such that the Avatar of Earth could come in. I don't know. I think he needs to use the um, the Earthquake to get rid of the Vampire and then... And then move because we don't. He doesn't want. He does not want the healing. There's a lot of nice healing from the Dapro Vampire. Um, so I think he's going to. I would expect that he's going to. Earthquake, 
get the pathfinder in a position that this site this site right here has to get filled in and then just move the avatar of earth the hard way um to the gothic tower i would anticipate that's what's happening but but we'll see what he does interesting my idea a uh, possible line of play for the earthquake um to to swap the gnome hollows and the cloud city such so that the avatar of earth right, could so start attacking to, uh... oh so he's not taking out the vampire okay he, he is he's taking out the vampire the let's make sure where he's playing it i would think he needs oh he's gonna grapple shot he doesn't he have enough here. mana to grapple shot hurting your vampire yeah so he move. is he is right. So he now has Here. this site. This windmill site is right in the middle of the board and very vulnerable to the avatar of Earth being able to dish out a lot of damage to it. I'm guessing he's just going to move the avatar of Earth the hard way. He only has one mana left. So his only option is to go. Oh, it's he can. Two. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, he can attack. Eight. That's only two. Yeah. I might have been inclined to um, try and attack. Now, now one thing to note, this combo of gigantism and grapple Untap. shot with Philosopher's Stone Christ. only costs five mana. Okay. So that Untap is a under. huge amount of damage that he can Billions. dish out. Oh my gosh, that uh, is another Earth site. Ooh. So the Avatar of Earth is just super powerful here. I will not here. pay the one. I'm I'm guessing that we're gonna see the Avatar of Earth, Gigantism, uh, Grapple Shot. Move the Root Spider. The Root Spider is moving. I don't think that's Here. right because now the Crown Prince is no longer disabled and is going to be able to. Okay, all right. So the Vampire. Ah, okay. Avatar. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight we'll mana. That was enough to play another Vampire. And a grapple shot into the and avatar. Pass to you. Okay. Um, for oh, eight stop. mana. All right. It's nice to see the bodyguard. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with um, this gigantism. Because the avatar of Earth. I think that might be Death's Door. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirteen. That is thirteen damage. So if the Avatar of Earth moves to the Gothic Tower and then grapple shots the, the Pathfinder, that is thirteen damage strike. I think he's doing it. I'm gonna move here. So he's just moving there. He's playing gigantism. Mm -hmm. And then a grapple shot. 13 okay, damage sorry. strike. Oh my gosh. So that was mm -hmm. that was incredible. So seven plus six of so thirteen. So that is the consequence of the Pathfinder deck not having control yeah. over where their sites were. And that was the risk, actually, that oh, Zach took yeah, by, nice. by, by moving his Pathfinder actually, here. Uh, and we foresaw that with the Earthquake. So we'll set that up yeah, yeah, with yeah. the Earthquake moving, getting rid of the first vampire, moving the Pathfinder to the, to the windmill and tempting Zach to go to right there. And it um, happened to be an Earth site, even with the healing from the vampire. And now we have healing from Untap, um, draw a spell. we have healing from from the uh, the divine healing is not going to be useful. Um, that's just not playable now. It will be interesting to see um, what's going to happen and can Zach get will to death's door right now? They do have a, a vampire that can do some damage. They have the root spider and they have the skirmishers of Moo. Uh, uh, no, sorry. I thought that was Highland Clans, uh, Highland Clansmen that can do five. So, uh, this is four plus two plus five is 11. I don't see a way. I don't see a way for, um, Zach to get will to death's door. Um, so I think it's going to be pretty tough with a lightning bolt in hand for, for Zach to survive this. Um, the, the early philosopher's stone, and the grapple shot gigantism combo 
uh, with five mana. So often the Avatar of Earth deck gets up to five mana, and then with the Philosopher's Stone can play can play this sort of combo, which is which is just super powerful. Otherwise, you need seven mana to do that without the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I think the Pathfinder deck is in is um, definitely in trouble. Um, I don't see a lot of things they can do. They can't craterize is now a dead card because they can't do any damage to themselves. They bury the crown prince. Um, all right, so they buried the crown prince. That pro I mean makes sense, but I don't think that's going to save them. Looking at the hands here, move the pathfinder. Moving on to the um, tower doesn't really help. They can if it's a move the vampire vampire is moving on to protect against okay to protect Play against uh rooms. yeah so this is this is uh kind of funny and play a mixer on the avatar it's kind uh, of funny three, because four, um seven, the root spider is gonna uh, have your to go. surface right now right now the vampire Just is up. um okay uh, does that help? All right, so I'm just going to earthquake just to bury everything here. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Right. And now that there's only one I'm unit atop, like lightning bolt. bolt. Sorry. So that's game again. Philosopher's uh, Stone, yeah. seven mana. G G. Because okay. of Philosopher's Stone. Uh, wow. So that's game one. Okay. Um, the players yeah. now have an opportunity to sideboard. Um, so while they're thinking about that, we'll see, we'll see what they do. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, 44 cards. I did not realize the Pathfinder deck had 44 cards in it. 45 cards. Wow. They drew two root spiders at a 45 card um, deck. Interesting. Sideboard. Um, all right. So they're sideboarding now. Let me take a moment um, to talk about the league. That was an intense game. I was, I was going fast. All right. What a game. Um, so the league it is a free league. Anybody can join. It does require Tabletop Simulator, which is the program that you're seeing here. And all of um, the cards from Alpha are now available. When we played Season 2, um, there were about 34, 35 unspoiled cards that were not in this pool. Um, so we're not seeing some of those. But otherwise... Uh, now in season three, which is which is going on right now, I'm recording this at the end of July, um, beginning of August, uh, 2023, and um, now in season three, which is running now. If you're watching this okay. uh, anytime in August, uh, 2023, you can still join uh, the league. And over the course of seven or eight weeks, players play eight games Actually, against unique opponents, so you can't duplicate your opponents. And you get two points for a win, uh, one point for a loss. And then depending on the number of players that we get in the league, there's a top cut at the end of the season. And so this season, in, in season one, we had an eight-person top cut. But in season two, we had enough players that we were able to do a 16-person top cut. Um, and I actually am the league organizer, and and I, I also made the top cut. And uh, I played Will in the top four. So this Avatar of Earth deck uh, beat me. Uh, so, so it's a very four. strong deck. Um, but both of these players are excellent players. Um, and they've made it through a top 16 cut to make it to the finals. Um, and I'll mention that, uh, Ira, oh, these are my, okay. We're seeing, we're one, seeing two, these two. as the sideboard. Um, great. I'll just approve that. And, um, let me just mention, thanks for showing that. And, um, will, uh, did you end up sideboarding or no? I did not. Okay. Um, Great, uh, great game, guys. That was that was an incredible game. Really super fun to watch. Uh, good luck, uh, game two. Thank you. Uh, I will go first this time. So they're going to start game two, and um, we'll see the difference in tempo. The fact that um, Zach gets to Zach gets to go first. Um, oh, another root spider. That that's just a really great defensive uh, ability against the avatar of Earth because they had these I will these um, you know these big minions of um you know five power that just get 
uh, completely disabled by the root spider. Um, and grapple shot, by the way, it says an ally shoots a projectile. So a disabled ally cannot shoot a projectile. So right. once once they get disabled by the root spider, Fights. they're not able to move. Right. Interesting. So awesome. once again, Will did not draw any uh, earth uh, any uh, air threshold. So they're going to end up drawing no, probably two always. more sites. And they'll probably yeah, draw an air threshold, but right now they don't have it. Um, if they end play. up going, um, so they're going to get a village, yeah, play, village and then probably I'm guessing next turn soldier. they might start drawing sites, uh, because if they draw a tower, they can do turn, turn one humble village, turn two rustic oh, village, getting foot soldiers for each, still using their mana pretty efficiently. <laughs> and then turn Draw three spell. with a tower, you can get yeah, this, um, Dalcian phalanx, um, so um, this is a, this is an interesting play. Uh, Zach drew uh, uh, revealed a tower and is now going to have three mana. They're going to be able to play the root spider on turn three or on turn two for this three mana. And they were thinking, I think, about putting this lone tower in the middle. Normally, they want to keep distance from the um, from the avatar of Earth. But by putting the root spider on that center spot, tower. they might have been able to keep things away. I think all things considered, this is the better play. Um you know, they do like um, having non earth sites in the middle because that helps increase the power of Avatar of Earth. But uh, more than anything, they want to stay away <laughs> from the Avatar of Earth. All right. So yeah. they end up putting the root spider under the Gnome Hollows. Gnome Hollows oh, is completely sweet. safe from basically all of the minions in the in the Avatar of Earth deck. This is by far their best site. It would be really nice if they were able to... Um, if they were able to one, uh, put that in the middle, but that is the drawback of the mm. the Pathfinder. They don't get to control their sites oh, very nice. well. Um, it does it does require a lot of skill to be okay. able to adjust um, to what you're drawing. I I will say, uh, and we're seeing That's by the way fine. every turn, right? The Pathfinder is just I'll draw, I'll draw a spell, I'll play draw a spell, I'll draw a spell like because you. they're continuing to play um, to play Game sites pass. as as they go. Um, they did not have a productive play on turn three. The Pathfinder tends to have these late game powerful draws, Grandmaster Wizard, uh, Highland Clansmen, the Vampires. Um, we saw, interestingly, that um, the Avatar of Earth deck, Will, uh, drew a sight last turn, but this turn decided to draw a spell. I might have considered drawing a sight in case I got a tower, but I think because they managed to find their air threshold um they decided to switch back to decided to switch back to um spells um you know eventually i think they're going to get up to five mana because they want to play their own vampire uh so i might have been tempted to um move the root spider yeah i I might have been tempted to play draw the extra site in case it was a tower uh, because I know I'm going to end up drawing that anyway. Now this is very interesting. We have um, a situation where the vampire is going to be able to attack diagonally using airborne into the soldier. Um, We do see a crown prince, which I think can be quite good. The crown prince in combination with um, one soldier is enough to be able to, um, trade with you. with the vampire um untap draw spell that's going to be i'm guessing that the um the pudge butcher is going to be a target for berry um this is not okay. an earth site so so this time around we're seeing many fewer earth sites um and i think in the long run that's better that's better for uh Bear the pathfinder the deck mm. As predicted, the Pudge Butcher gets buried. Now the vampire is going to come in, probably start attacking. Maybe the site probably a mix air on my avatar. Probably the um, probably the foot soldier. Just to swing at you for four. Right. So it'll be interesting to see if the foot soldier uh, blocks. I think it makes sense. Block that. Okay. Um, um, so the foot soldier goes away. Your go. Okay. We see another root spider. Um, from the avatar, from the Pathfinder. Note that the 
lighthouse is actually water. And right. because uh, the Pathfinder has to play uh, 20 different sites in their atlas, they end up playing things like this, which is really just an air threshold uh, primarily for the Pathfinder deck. Um, but it allows for... Um, Village. It allows for protection from wow. berry. So anything like earthquake or berry will. will not work on a lighthouse because it's water site. Uh, and you cannot yeah. bury something in water. Um, you can't burrow something in water, which is the effect of mm-hmm. earthquake and um, and the spell berry. But yeah, that it. also means their root spider is stuck back here and cannot move I'll in play. to the lighthouse. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, where the phalanx is going to go. I'll play phalanx here. All right. So the phalanx, which I think is exactly, oh, um, you know, if they put the phalanx here. on the windmill, they could attack and into the lighthouse and the root spider is not going to be able to stop them. But because, um, All right, I'll pass. because there's another, uh, root spider in hand, on top. the, the pathfinder draw a spell. The Pathfinder is going to be able to play a root spider in the Gothic Tower and protect. Um, This is, we are seeing right here, one drawback of the Pathfinder, which is that if you do not draw your mobility, which they didn't, um, they are just moving and they're, they're not getting to play more, more sites. So there are a lot of blinks and teleports and things like that. Um, All right, so this turned out to be a very elegant play by Will. I'm guessing he foresaw all of this. The and... Phalanx is going to be able to grapple shot into the vampire and then attack yes. normally into the lighthouse. Um, so this is this is a very this is going to be a great turn for Will, um, and I think we're going to see the the um, the foot soldiers start to attack in and get a little extra damage in there. Um, and unless Zach draws some mobility, he's going to have some trouble. Um, he does have the mix air. Another sight, but I draw a spell. All right. So he draws a spell. I think that makes total sense. I'm anticipating we're going to see grapple shot into the vampire because, you know, he has to get the phalanx to a different location. Um, because it can only move forward, move themselves forward, but the grapple shot is a forced movement that requires it to to move. All right, so I'm he's... going to grapple shot to your vampire. All right, so he grapple shots, t- repositioning the Finish phalanx, five. taking out taking out the vampire. That's a very powerful play. It'll be interesting to see: is the avatar of Earth going to draw a sight, or is it going to start to move forward? I'm thinking that it's going to just draw a sight. Because I'm gonna expect to see, um, I'm gonna expect to see a um, grapple shot either of the of the phalanx or um, of the avatar of Earth itself. Uh, oh, it's it can't go into the gnome hollows. Very interesting. All right, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, you know what what will or what um, will does here. Um, the fact that the okay did draw a site, I think I that know. makes sense. And and now uh, because it was a tower, Here. we're actually going to oh, get seven um, seven okay. mana next turn for Will. That can let him do a combination Ooh, like play the phalanx so. and the grapple shot in the same turn. That seven mana is a key mana value. All right. Fortunately for Zach, he did finally draw into a blink. Um, which I think he's going to play right away to get his avatar out. I'll blink my Pathfinder here. All right. So he, the Pathfinder is now going to get to do Drop its thing him. and continue generating more mana. Tap the Pathfinder. Um, oh, what a draw. Still okay, there. so that's a very nice draw. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not minion. super excited uh, have... about another Earth one site, um, but one, it is one. nice to gain two okay, life. So, two. so Pillar of Zeros, incredibly moves. powerful site. Um, also very useful against Death Speaker decks. Neither of these decks are playing Death Speaker, but they both included Pillar of Zeros in their list, not only because it's a powerful site on its own, but it's a very nice counterplay against Death uh, Speaker, I will... um, which I was playing in the top four, which uh, Will did use against me <laughs> quite effectively. Spider. All right. So um, I'm a, I think it makes sense there. for uh, Zach to be getting these... Um, play... Getting these root spiders into position because the lighthouse is a little awkwardly placed for this root spider. Um, 
I mean, for yeah, so so I think it makes sense to move this one in. Yeah, Highwing Clansman. Does Zach have enough mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is enough. And That's exactly what he needed to play a Blink right. and a Highland Clansman. The Clansman traded with the Phalanx. Um, you know, Phalanx only costs four Trump mana. Uh, Highland Clansman costs seven, but because uh, of the card advantage that the Pathfinder has, um, it's often worth it. So there is no easy target. Oh, there is. There's going to be a. There's going to be a lone tower right in front. And then we're going to see a phalanx into a grapple shot. I think that's what we're going to see. Uh, the root spider will come over and then disable um, disable that phalanx. But I'm guessing it's still worth it. Then you'll be then Will will be at six mana the following turn. Maybe we'll draw into blink and things like that. But then the six mana the following turn, crown prince plus something else. Another idea for um, Will is to play it a little slower. Um, Let's have play a lone tower. And save the grapple shot as removal. You know, play the vampire right now. Seven. And then and then use it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he plays. Because he could play vampire and nothing else. Or the phalanx and grapple shot. Um. Because that root spider is right there, we know it's pretty likely that it would just come over and um, disable the phalanx. Is it worth it to Will to spend two cards right now just to do five damage to the Pathfinder? I think probably not. I think we're just going to see the. If it were me, I would probably just play the vampire. Okay. All right. I think that's the right play. Um, the vampire has airborne, so right. it's very uh, flexible okay. and able to attack in lots of directions. Okay. Um, so the pathfinder is, you know, is going to keep moving. Um, oh, I'm sure that's nice for Will or for Zach. He's happy to see the healing. Um, it is rather difficult for um, Will to be able to do 16 damage. In Go one ahead turn. and tap the Pathfinder. All right, so Pathfinder is continuing along its path. That's a lot of mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight mana coming. Oh, did was the um, was the core played this turn, or was it already in play? Um, so Will actually maybe had one more mana. I don't know. Maybe he played it this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn for Will. I'm guessing the Avatar of Earth Hell is going to come in. What, what, what? Oh, right. So the Root Spider came up and ate the um, and ate the Soldier. And the reason why the Vampire could not come in and block is because it's Gnome Hollows. So that was a, that was a very clever play by Zach. Um Keeping Go ahead and, making uh, good use of gnome hollows. Hit you for two with this root spider. All right. The, now the fact that that root spider is surfaced and then play means a it's mo- it's... and try to hit your site for five. All right. Um, it is it is more vulnerable on the surface. Okay. The uh, the clansman is coming in but... and attacking for five. I'm guessing that's not going to be blocked. Um, I'm guessing. Zach is Zach next turn because he because he played it slow. Um, he's going to be able to um, play the phalanx, grapple shot the phalanx into the clansman, removing it, and then heal with the vampire by striking the avatar. Um, so I think that's going to work out pretty well if Zach ends up drawing a. Um, an earthquake or something, then Zach will be able to get rid of the phalanx and the vampire because they'll be within a two by two area. I think Zach is thinking, is there a chance <laughs> that my opponent can do uh, 16 and damage? And, and maybe that's yeah. the right play because again, with gigantism plus grapple strike uh, plus grapple shot, um, this vampire spell. absolutely could have done 16. Um, so now we're seeing, um, all right, I think we're going to see... Maybe we'll see Pudge Butcher instead of the Phalanx. Um, you know, I probably... Without drawing the Pudge Butcher, I would have played Phalanx. But now that Pudge Butcher is All sitting... Right, so I'll come in here. I'll hit you for 
four. All right, so he's attacking. He he actually struck the Pathfinder, not the site. He actually attacked the Pathfinder, uh, doing four damage, which allows the vampire to heal. Attacking the site just does um, is not a strike. It it simply uh, causes the opposing avatar to lose life because you're sort of weakening the avatar's hold on the realm. Um, so okay, so he plays the phalanx. Plays the yeah, phalanx. interesting. I probably would have gone with the butcher, but this does this does threaten an attack into the pillars Over. of Zeros next turn. Um, he does have three more mana. It's interesting. He's it seems like he's thinking about not playing grapple shot, um, and instead playing crown prince. Interesting idea. Saving the grapple Let's shot. Play. I would. Okay, so he's saving. He's saving the grapple shot. It does create more threats no, pass. for damage. Um, okay. What's interesting here is we'll that untap. the the um, Draw the clansman. Um, no. Tap the. Mm, let's see. All right, the clansman can um, can move sideways. But the phalanx cannot. So the pathfinder. Uh, the pathfinder. Mountain pass. The pathfinder drew a sight. Zach drew a sight because he had craterize in his hand, and so he's going to craterize the avatar of Earth. Then with one, two, three, four, five, six, sight. seven, eight. And craterize your avatar for ten. All right. Yep. So he just that did will kill this root spider, and your crown prince. All right, so uh, both the phalanx and the clansmen are at three this turn. I will take one. Yeah, so he's he's able to put. Uh, this will go back into your hand. Okay. Yep. And I think that is everything for the crit rise <laughs> and the site gets destroyed. Yeah, the site turns yeah, into yeah, rubble. Yeah, yeah. So this is enough. This is enough to put him at death's door because the clansman can go sideways. Go ahead and put you to death's door with the clansman. And the phalanx cannot block. Yep. Uh, this root spider is supposed to be untapped. Um, All right. So that was a very effective use of crater eyes. Um, yeah. Just really good crater eyes. We'll pass to you. And I think, okay. you know, I think in many games, uh, we see the avatar of Earth very oh, close sure. to the other uh, avatar. Yeah, was, <laughs> um, but because that, the Pathfinder is so mobile <laughs> and Zach was able to get out, go around the edge and then come around this edge uh, and just stay far away, he was able to... All right, um, so I will draw a spell. Yeah, he was just, he was able to here. keep himself safe. All right, it'll be interesting to see what, what Zach does here. We don't, we, I mean, what Will does here. He can get Zach to death's door pretty fast. The, the, um, the vampire can attack for four. The phalanx, oh wow, the phalanx can grapple shot sideways into the pathfinder and then attack the pathfinder. So that to me looks like 11, uh, 14 damage. Four from the four from the vampire, 10 from the phalanx. Very close. Not yeah, quite enough. Out of this. Um. So Zach so, made uh, draw an answer. Sure, All right. So that shot. is. Strike you. That's yeah. And then where's the, the vampire is going to, I think he's probably just going to go to the mountain pass. The mountain pass only stops ground Here. movement. Um, yeah. I don't want to do that. I want to pile up either. I don't think there's a huge difference between um, I will Zach being it. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I Whoa. Should, I you, can, was, you can take that. You can take it back. Yeah, I was, I was forgetting that it was on top. Well, okay, so he uh, Will was okay. not aware that the root spider was not on top or was on top, and so he decided to change I'll his mind. Crown Prince here with my avatar. Uh, stand by. That's not your sight. 
Oh, it's rubble. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good catch. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Can't play. Uh, that is one of the consequences of um, mm. of Crater Eyes. It's, it's no longer a site. So yeah. he played a Crown Prince there. That's fine. Um, uh, tap to draw a site. That's do. fair. Uh, you get the you get the finisher. <laughs> We'll see what I, we'll see what Zach uh, draws. Not really. Is that your turn? Yes, yeah, my turn. Okay. Untap. All right. So he's gonna draw, draw a, spell. a spell. Healing. What a nice time. It's mm. probably not gonna matter. Um. All right. So he's mm. he's gone to updraft ridge. Uh, I'll go ahead and play Grandmaster. Draw three. Okay. Ugh. All right, he's getting there, uh, but not mean, enough. Not let me, let me one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Vent, six. So I will divine healing. Up to eight. Uh, so he has eight mana left. Oh no, he's already played Crown Prince. He's already played the. Uh, stand by the death right triggers the death right triggers. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Sorry. All right, so Crown um, Prince goes back to hand. Crown Prince, we've seen a lot of Crown Princes. <laughs> this is the third one, I think, maybe. All right, so I think in this situation, the skirmishers, um, skirmishers of Mu so are going to be very useful. Yes, um, yes, we have a Grandmaster yes. Wizard trying to protect the Pathfinder. We'll see how well it does. So I'm going to draw a spell. All right. So Avatar of Air, I mean Avatar of Earth. I'm guessing is gonna play a simple village right under it and get a, um, get a soldier to help block. The Crown Prince is gonna come back. Um, I don't know. I'll start off by playing a site. Uh, I don't know that Will is gonna be able to get Zach to Death's Door though. Um, because this Grandmaster Wizard is going to be able to block and the Root Spider can block um, back there. So the, the Phalanx is going to be able to attack for five. I will. And the, um, and the Vampire is going to be able to attack for four, but one That's of those attacks so will be blocked. So again, um, we're seeing the power of Divine Healing and the Pathfinder Crown deck Prince, just continuing uh, to draw lots of cards. All right, so Crown Prince shows up. Did we get a, do we get a Soldier token or no? I'm a little surprised there was no soldier token Grandmaster there Wizard. because he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. He could have played five. Crown Prince and Unicorn and, and Soldier to have three units there. Yeah, I probably grab one. Um, uh, I'll just pass to you. All right, so Vampire attacked okay. um, uh, draw. the Grandmaster. So Will still, or Zach still does not have the direct answer. Um, to be able to, to be able to defeat him. Vantage Hills, ranged units atop the site have plus one range. That's very good because he happens to have a ranged unit of Skirmishers of Mu. So that's going to be, that's going to be pretty good. Skirmishers of Mu are going to show up. Go ahead and play a vampire. One, two, three, four, the five, vampire. six, seven, eight, nine, ten um, mana. Ten mana lets you play two vampires in one turn. Move the root spider. And the healing is still relevant right Swing now. Swing at the avatar. All right. I'll I block think, with uh, I think he's going to double block. Okay. Oh, he's just blocking. Oh, he could have double blocked and with then the unicorn. Pass to you. All right. All right, Avatar of Earth is I'm looking a spell. little bit in trouble. A blink could help, could really help if you get... Um, I don't know exactly where the Phalanx can go. Oh, maybe the Avatar of Earth. 
the avatar of earth can come over and put you at death's door you know blink the avatar of earth over to the lighthouse or something like that don't want any of that all right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna gonna blink my avatar here yeah draw the card wait 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 wait. yes stand by you have stand by you have to draw before yeah yeah sorry oh look at that what a top deck drawing grapple shot now to be fair there are a lot a lot of cards um in his deck he has four common sense and four grapple shot i believe um so there were many ways to be able to do that um it's this is what an exciting board i mean so much mana if zach draws a common sense if zach draws an earthquake if zach draws a lightning bolt any of those a blink any of those will let him get there Okay, Blink now is probably not enough. I think probably the right place for this vampire is um, farther yeah, away. There. But we'll see um, where the crown prince goes. I can't do anything with that. Uh, we have a so lot of vampires spells. in play. I believe we have we have four vampires it's in play right now. Draw spell. Earthquake. Uh, that's it. I believe that's GG. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Earthquake. Hold on, let me think about this. Earthquake is here. We've got one defender, and I attack twice. Um, or no, it's dead anymore. Or yeah, one defender. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, man. GG. All right, that was uh, very you close. You want us to like move this stuff to like show it, or no. vampire dies. I was going to reset everything. Yep, here. I, I think Wayne. I think we're good. I think if yeah. Will, you're okay with that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. what happened was right. earthquake rearranged, um, and then there were two attacks, both from from one from this vampire, one from this clansman, and there was only one unicorn available to defend. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so if no, there is I, I think that was still no. the right play for for Will to go for it. Um and he was very close. Next turn he would have okay. won. Will would have um, won with the grapple shot. Me um check for one second. Really seeing the power of the um of the healing from the Pathfinder uh, deck and the mobility okay. and just the number of units, uh the number of I'm good to go to uh, units on the board. All right. That's pretty amazing. Sideboarded, I think. I think I should. Did I just All right, I'm going to grab two. One more cyber. I'm going to leave everything else in there. Okay, so you're going up to 42 then? I'm going to 42. Okay. All right. Uh, big play. So, it. so yeah. Will, I'm sorry. You just added two cards to your deck? I did. Do you want to see what they are? Oh, it's too late now because I uh, <laughs> shuffled it. Um. Yeah, Zach, you're okay with that D- going up to forty two? Uh, yeah. As far as I was aware, you're allowed to have. You have forty five. He has forty five in his deck. No, I know, but I mean, sideboard I, I started has. Started with forty five. Yeah, sideboard has to be ten usually. I mean, the I, rules. I don't. I don't really mind. Um. If, oh, if, so what, I'm sorry. I yeah, thought it was. Um, I don't mind. Okay. Zach, are you? I, okay? I was under the impression that sideboard had to have a max of 10 and you could put all 10 extra cards in and have a sideboard of zero okay, in between games. Great, great, great. That's fine. So I'm, I'm That's good what I thought this. as well. That's totally fine. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Fair enough. So please enjoy. Um, uh, Will, would it be easy for you to search and just um, bring out face down the cards that you added just for posterity so we can see? Mm-hmm. Zach, sure. did you I, make... I just, I put it into, I didn't change anything you, you made no changes since the last game okay great i think it'll great. be fun for everybody to get to see uh this is it okay great um, and um is it is it two of that that's what you put in uh, yep these two okay great thanks 
Um, good luck, guys. Exciting. Very exciting match. Thank you. Okay, okay. so we're uh, on to game three. Yep. Um, so I think I'm assuming Will is interesting. So I would have expected Will to send everything back. Okay, all the sites go back. Right. He's happy to see villages. Um, I, I will keep my hand. He's happy to see um, a little bit all of right, air. So three sites. All right, and th this is good. This is this is exactly what he wants to see. You know, maybe a tower would have been slightly better, but all right. um, I think uh, he's perfectly happy with this. Start us off. Um, he kept the earthquake. Obviously, that's a little later game, but is good removal. You. Pudge Butcher can do quite a lot of damage. Um, we can see that. Um, we can tower. see that Zach has a uh, berry, so I'm sure as soon as the Pudge Butcher arrives, it will get buried. But um, that's how it goes. All right, let's see what uh, I'm assuming Will is going to draw a spell. All right, so you can teleport anywhere. I'm going to tap and play. Observatory, Observatory is a is a very nice um, Genesis effect. It lets you look at three spells and put them back in any order. So let's look and see what Will's looking at. Okay, not particularly relevant at this point in the game. He's probably not super excited to see any of these. Um he put Atlas Wanderers on top. It, yeah, that's fine. At some point, he's going to want to draw Atlas Wanderers, and then he will. Yeah. It will let him swap a yeah, site, which can be very effective for the Avatar of Earth. Untap. Um, draw. Getting, draw. getting, draw. um, an opponent site to the middle. The Ugh. one thing that's uh, a little bit bad for Will right now is that he, um, he does not have a lot of Earth sites in the middle. Um, you know, there's the one tower really here. haven't seen any earth sites. Oh, in interesting. So right now, Pathfinder uh, Zaxic does not have any earth threshold. Okay. So it may be the uh, case that um, if Zach draws a um, site here, okay, Rift Valley, very nice. So Rift Valley is a very useful card because it can um, really effectively move your your own units. I uh, oh, he's not going to play it here. I would have considered. See, all right. So he's playing. Play that for no effect. He's playing it right there. Oh, Pillar of Zero, a little too early, Untap. and he doesn't have any place useful Draw to spell. move. Um, Tap all right. Pattern. Is he going to find an earth? Okay. So he found an earth threshold. Play Rustic Village. Uh, we'll Here? see. We'll see what he. I'm assuming he's going to get hey, a. I think he'll get a. Um, I think he'll get a little token. Maybe I guess he wants to play Pudge Butcher next turn. Yeah, I'll pay one for the soldier. Okay, so he is he is getting the um, the and soldier. Move the Pathfinder, then pass. Okay. So, so Pathfinder does not have any mobility right now. I'm a little surprised. Why did Zach draw another site? All right, he just wants to get he just wants to get Pudge Butcher ready. I guess here. Pudge Butcher will obviously get um, buried as soon as he shows up. Um, pretty soon we're going to see the Avatar of Earth coming in and attacking. Um, and we also know that Atlas Wanderers are on the top of the deck. So Will is going to anticipate, I think, uh, being able to next turn play the Rift Valley right, and Atlas Pudge. Wanderers. Pudge yeah, Butcher. Oh yeah, they're both at 20, obviously. Okay. Um, the soldier is just staying Untap. on the Draw. observatory. That seems fine. Tap the Pathfinder. So Pathfinder is getting a little hemmed in here. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and bury the Pudge Butcher. Pudge Do Butcher it. gets buried. That makes yep. sense. Um, and only one more mana. Move the Foot Soldier. For the... And pass. All right, so this will be interesting okay. to see. We know we have Atlas eight. Wanderers, Spell. and we have Rift Valley. We're now starting to get um, more Earth Sites. So there are quite a few Earth Sites in this area now. Presumably the Pathfinder is going to move on to six, or maybe not. I mean, if Zach does not draw 
a blink or a teleport or something, then um, Pathfinder is going to be stuck at four mana next turn. He will get to play the Pudge Butcher. Um, I'll tap and play a Rift Valley. Okay, interesting. So Rift Valley Here. was not played in the normal way to lock in the Pathfinder. I would have been tempted to do that, but maybe what he's doing is um, uh, using Atlas Wanderers. Okay, so he's using Atlas Wanderers to swap the Pathfinder right in the right. middle. This is absolutely Atlas a better play. Here. Right, so oh, that's why Will is in the finals, not me. Um, so he just played Rift Valley, swapped them, and now this site is right in the middle of a bunch of Earth. One, two, three, four, five Earth sites. So when the Avatar of Earth, which is going to be able to teleport there and attack, they're going to be able to do six damage, one, two, three, four, five, and six from the Avatar of Earth. Plus we have a grapple shot, plus we have um, the Atlas Wanderers coming in, and the Pathfinder does not have mobility to be able to um, play another site. So this is a drawback of the Pathfinder if you happen to not draw your, your blinks or your other mobility. And you're playing against somebody with a deck that has sort of site rearrangement effects like the Rift Valley. Um, I'm very surprised to see that soldier attacking. That soldier is like five life right now to be able to block an attack against the Atlas Wanderers or somebody. Um, let's see where Root Spider goes and let's see where the Pathfinder goes. Um, the Pudge Butcher is obviously nice because it's efficiency of mana to get four mana. Um, because he has four mana right now, but, um, it can't block, so it can't defend. So, uh, that means that a grapple shot into it or something like that will, yeah. will take can it out. Root spider All right. So root spider is protecting, um, that site uh, from the Atlas Wanderers. Mm -hmm. And past you. All right. So I think we're going to see... Foot Soldier coming in to attack the Pathfinder. Then the um, Avatar of Earth can grapple shot. A spell. Divine Healing. Fine. Let's see what we see. I think the Avatar of Earth is going to be pounding on, pounding on the Vantage Hills. That's going to be a problem for the Pathfinder. Where's this foot soldier going and what's the Avatar of Earth going to do? The root spiders. I think we can see Atlas Wanderers attack the foot soldier or attack the site either uh, way. Kill your soldier. Yeah, okay. And now do we see a grapple shot from the Wanderers? How much is the Avatar of... If the Avatar of Earth I'm grapples into, into the Pathfinder... Whoa! Sleep. Did not expect that. Yeah, I expected the Avatar of Earth to teleport and start pounding on the Vantage Hills. Um, okay. I'm, I'm very that? surprised. Draw he uh, Will did not spend any mana. I guess he's... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why the Avatar of Earth did not start pounding away at the Vantage Hills. Teleport to Vantage Hills and start attacking. Um, all right, so what's interesting about the uh, Lighthouse is that um, Will's units and Zach's units cannot be buried. So we, we, these decks both um, have um, forceful burrow effects from Barry and from Earthquake. So um, And also a Root Spider if uh, Zach draws it, right, cannot yeah, protect um, cannot protect the lighthouse. So we are seeing the benefits of the mm -hmm. sort of patient Spider. play uh, by Will. Um, we're going to see a grapple shot from the Atlas Wanderers um, into the Pudge Butcher, followed by an attack on the Pathfinder. And then um, past you. And then I think the Avatar of Earth will then probably teleport to the Vantage Hills and um, and start attacking there. So I don't see a reason why Will really needs more sites. I'll he stop. already has five sites. All right. the He knew it was a dispel, not particularly useful. 
I think the Atlas Wanderers needs to get away from the Root Spiders. Otherwise, they're going to attack. So I think it really has to be Grapple Shot Atlas Wanderers into Pudge Butcher, followed by an attack on the Pathfinder for five damage. And then I would expect a teleport from the Avatar of Earth to Vantage Hills doing six damage. And so that's a total of 11 damage plus removing the Pudge Butcher. And the Root Spider only disables minions. So the... Um, the avatar can just continue pounding away at at the vantage hills next turn and i would expect maybe foot soldier moves moves into rustic yeah, village that is what i would expect to see from will's turn we'll see all what right, he so does I'm all right <laughs> my first prediction is wrong here we'll see how much going to earthquake oh here. wow i'm gonna flip i would interesting in your lighthouse all right all right so that that also makes sense oh sorry you know what shoot i uh, don't want to do that mind um i just realized i don't want to do that all right so will said he does not want to do that and it looks like zach is allowing a take back um not that much had occurred so i think that's a, i think that's fine yeah i was thinking the earthquake would be better to save um for later and the reason why will was not happy with that play is because the pudge butcher would not have been burrowed for exactly the reasons that we talked about because this is a water site so we'll realized um, yeah, that so that gonna, that that would not happen. All right. So yeah, and now and this way, yeah, I think this has okay. to be the correct play because this five. way the um, the Atlas Wanderers are now safe from Zach uh, trying to bury it or um, use Earthquake. I'm not sure why we're not seeing the teleport now. Tap and play a humble village. Yeah, interesting. We'll grab a soldier. All right, it is it is useful to continue yeah, to fill good. the realm with earth sites, um, and I guess contain Untap the pathfinder. All right, browse. This is the unique um, uh, three threshold one cost air spell. It's um, incredibly powerful. S look at your next seven Play spells. That's Grand so here. many to choose from, um, and and choose uh, put the put put one in the. Put one in your hand, the rest on the bottom. So it does cost, it does require three air threshold, but obviously um, Will has that. Uh, stand by, does Will have that? Oh, yes, okay. The lighthouse is what gave him the third. All right, so he's fine with that. Um, Go ahead and play a Sky Baron. Sky Baron, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven mana. The root spider here. Your go. He didn't right. play browse. I'm quite surprised to not see the browse. I don't know. I don't know why we don't we don't have browse. Oh, did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have browse because I miscounted. Uh, this is Will site. All right, and I think if we had had you know an earlier you know Avatar of Earth over here attacking the Vantage Hills, instead of this one extra site. Six more damage to Zach and um, yeah, so yeah, will has enough healing. he's not he's not particularly worried about healing in his own life. He has twenty life. but the the Sky Baron notably is at six power, and the Atlas Wanderers are only five power. So a right. little tricky to know um what to do. Uh, you say for one. So he's attacking with the foot Pickle. soldier for one. Obviously, the Sky Baron is not going to... I will earthquake. Um, he's trying to earthquake again. So I'm going to flip. We'll see if... Still? We'll see if so he... I think we're going to... All right. So I'm not sure why the earthquake happened. I guess he's attacking into the... I'm going to attempt to hit your lighthouse. Or six. Yeah. He's attacking for six. That's enough to kill the Sky Baron. I think he has to just take it. We'll see what happens. Um... Obviously, he doesn't like losing six life, but... 
he really wants to be able to take out the um the Alice Wanderers from you know with the Sky Baron and this way at least the Sky Baron lives to be able to defend if if the if the avatar of earth blocks if he blocks the ava- if he defends against the avatar of earth right now he ends up taking five more it. immediately from the Atlas Wanderers okay. yeah i i yeah unfortunately i don't think that's the right play um <clears throat> even without knowing right, so that he I'll... has divine healing in hand <clears throat> Attack um, for five because you end up Wanderers. taking five more the the foot soldier can get in there for another one and that site is just completely safe from root spiders from earthquake so really we're seeing the advantage of site control and site movement that the that this um avatar of earth deck has i believe that he's played uh just five mana so he has one, two, three, four, five, six. He does have um, one more, one more mana available if he wants to use it now. I would, I would. I was at this. Yeah, I would think that I would have, but um, I guess I guess he's just he Wrong. wants to get full value out of that um, divine healing. Path, path, um, four mountain pass. So it's a little tough for Zach now. One, I, I think he's grabbed. gonna have some trouble dealing Search with seven. Um, dealing with this. So he's searching but seven. Let's see what he's looking at. We'll search seven. Um, uh, I think you're searching the wrong seven, or unless I've already taken him out, Ira. Oh. If you want to look at that really quick, you can. Great. So these are the ones he passed up on and he took, he took this one. All right. He wants to be able to, um, he wants to be able to play, I think a vampire and a grapple shot or something like that. He has enough minions and he just needs some healing. My hand. So we can see the power of brows. The mix there on the episode. So he spent two mana so far. Uh, sacrifice it. Essentially He's up giving to me eight, eight mana. mana turn. Plays a vampire. Play a vampire. Let's be down to three. And then grapple shot the vampire into your avatar. So he does four, four damage. He gaining four, going up to 15. And gains four. Okay. Um, Let's see what the root spider does. And then I will pass to you. He drew all three. Zach drew all three of his Dapro vampires. Um, quite a lot of healing there. Philosopher's Stone is useful. That's going to save um, Zach I'll two mana a turn, probably. Um, probably not hugely relevant, but I think the there's quite a lot of... start by healing up to 17. Yeah, so he heals up to 17. He's just going to dish out a lot of damage here. Just pounding on this, pounding on this lighthouse. Um, this vampire cannot, um, yeah, just can't trade productively with anybody. Oh, let's start here. Attempt to, so he attacks uh, for attack five. Sight. He's obviously going to take that. I think he's going to take that. Take five? Yeah. Okay. Foot soldier attacks for one. Soldier, soldier. I'll block the soldier one of the soldiers okay uh take the damage from that one go up four he's up to 13, 13. yeah okay and i will attack you for two four five six attacking for six yeah so it might have been more productive to attack with the avatar of earth and then three. just not attack with the soldiers because then Zach would have been at um, four, yeah. and, uh, and I'll... the soldiers yeah, would have been yeah. alive. So pro- probably a slight ordering mistake Untap. there. I think it. I think Crossbow. you attack with the Avatar of Earth first. Top Pathfinder. All right. Um, I think that extra mix air uh, would be useful in combination with. Um, the Grandmaster Sacrifice Wizard the to allow air. the um, play double vampire. Yeah, so we got a lot of vampires <laughs> there, a lot of healing. Um, he 
he's thinking about attacking with the attacking with the vampire. Let's look and see what we have here. Three vampires. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. An Atlas Wanderer tapped. And a foot soldier on a lighthouse. This lighthouse has been the star of the show. All right. So that's that's what we have there. Quite a few yeah, things on that site. Oh, and the phalanx is like, oh, the loss going on there. How to hit your avatar on the vampires for four. All right. So the phalanx is going to jump in and block uh, that, but it gives it gives Zach a chance to heal. I'll, I'll do that. Block that. Okay. Right. Go so imagine. So that vampire got to um, heal eight damage instead of just four damage because of the soldiers attacking. Um, so imagine a situation. A vampire. You and pass you. So let's just double check the mana. One, right. two, three, four, five, six, seven, awesome. eight. Yeah, that's double vampire. All right, so this is an epic amount of stuff on this uh, on this location. Um, all of these are bigger than a vampire, but vampires can double block and it. dish out quite a lot of damage. There's also a teleportation that could be so possible. We'll start here, I'll, I will attempt to hit your site for five. So, so he's doing it slowly to see what um, happens. There can be a double defense, which would kill the um, phalanx and heal eight. Go ahead and double block. Uh, I'll gain eight from double blocking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, you have to assign damage, I guess. You're going to... Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah, so Will has to assign uh, damage. He's going to probably assign yeah, right. four to one and one to the other. Yeah, I guess it's kill the matter. <laughs> All right, so one of them yeah. dies. The phalanx dies. Uh, heal eight. Going up to... So 19. Zach just healed eight. And one, one, um, one vampire just died. All right, and now he's going to get to dish out quite a lot of damage still. He's going to do 5, 6, um, 12 damage. Zach's going to do 12 damage right here. Okay. All right, so you for 5. Down to 14. That was a huge amount of healing for the vampires. 6. One more. And 8. Down to 7. All right, so you did 12. And the unicorn, sure. Can't play it there. I, he's trying to play it on the lighthouse. <laughs> Everybody uh, wants to be uh, on the lighthouse. Play my unicorn. I know the lighthouse is an extremely popular location, but you can't summon it there because it's not your site. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, right now, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Party at the lighthouse. That's where everybody's at. No, right? <laughs> All right. So can't even tell it's a lighthouse. After so he I played. Can't put it to you. <laughs> he played the right. um, the unicorn right. on uh, the pillars. That seems reasonable. Hmm. He really wants to play it on the lighthouse. Okay, All he's right. playing um, it over there on the Rift Valley. That that no, gives him two options um, to okay. attack either the, either the Vantage Hills or the Rustic Village. All right, common sense is going to be a great draw for Zach because he's going to be able to get a grapple shot. He's going to be able to, I think, trade productively with um, with the Atlas Wanderers. He's finally going to be able to get rid of the Atlas Wanderers, and then he's going to get card advantage from um, um, from the Grandmaster Wizard. I'm blink the root spider over here. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, blinking the root spider. Maybe he has enough to do everything. Um, Move my Pathfinder. Pathfinder is trying to find a good place to make more sites. Go ahead and play a Grand Master Wizard here. Okay, Grand Master Wizard shows up. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Uh, I'll kill the Foot Soldier. He has no more mana left. Go up to 11. Move yeah. this Root Spider. and pass you so it's it's interesting i thought that this location for the unicorn was good 
Um, but maybe all the way back here on the humble village was better to allow, um, an, a continual, um, you know, a continual pressure on, on the, um, on the lighthouse, which there's just fewer ways for, um, Zach to defend it because it's a water site and it's surrounded by all these earth sites. was burrowed here last turn. No, it was burrowed here, but I blinked it. Oh, you blinked it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. How did All I right. make that? So um, he will be able to teleport the unicorn away. Um, and I th I think that's not quite enough damage. Um, I think he's just going to keep attacking with the Atlas Wanderers and, um, right. and the Avatar of Earth. This, we're seeing the power of the vampires continuing to heal and heal and heal. Draw what I need. The double shield maidens could be quite good. All right, so I'll play a royal bodyguard. Royal bodyguard can be useful. Uh, attempt to. Oh, actually, I, I'll kill your. So the Atlas Wanderers Atlas will take wizard. out the Grandmaster Wizard. The Avatar of Earth attacks for oh, one, sight. two, three, four, five, six. And the six, Unicorn just sits six, there. Six, six, yeah. Apologies. I think he yeah, saves the teleport. Two. It's a nice right, surprise. Here you go. Yeah. So okay. he's he's going to keep it going. So we can sure. see the um, the benefit of um, this Pathfinder and the card advantage, just being able to stay alive. Okay. Imagine this game with. Uh, I mean, obviously there are lots of different Go plays, but sense. more. Um, more early pressure from the Avatar of Earth. Grab the Pathfinder really grapple shot. is going to get extra uh, value Shuffle. out of the game going long because they just have so many sites to play. Uh, I'll play a Shield Maidens. Five uh, here. Five mana spent so far. Here, here, here. Um, play here. Yeah. Go ahead and. Uh, kill the bodyguard with the vampire surviving on one. Mm -hmm. Go up by four, up to nine. Grapple shot into your avatar for four. Yep. So that vampire is two, just 13. healing, healing, healing. <clears throat> How much mana did we spend? Uh, and Grapple shot. Two. That was eight mana. The Pathfinder didn't move. That's interesting. All right. um, I guess <sighs> Zach is happy just being in the corner. He's probably setting himself up for a crater eyes at some point. Um, if he draws it, I'm thinking that's why he's staying back there. Probably would have been okay to move. Maybe he's also uh, afraid of blink or grapple shot or things like that. Um, so the <laughs> blink is going to let the unicorn get get going again. So I'm, I'm expecting right, so to see... For five with my pliers. Yeah, so this is Death's Door, eight, actually. Six, my avatar. Yeah, two. And then blink the I'm unicorn. Play blink. Eight for three. Death's Door. Oh, sorry, draw a card. I so I would have expected, this is very minor, but I would have expected the unicorn to blink to the Lone Tower and then attack over in the Dark Tower just to get closer um, to the Pathfinder. Um, there's blink and teleport, so. On top. Um, now that Zach is at death's door, um, it's obviously a scary situation. Uh, yeah. If, if the unicorn had blinked to the lone tower and then attacked the dark tower, then there would be two ways for Zach to have a, um, a threat against, uh, the pathfinder at the moment. It's only the teleport for a single attack. But if the unicorn were on the lone, uh, were on the dark tower, then there would also be a blink from the unicorn to attack into the pathfinder. Um, 
So Zach needs to uh, obviously get some units on his Pathfinder, which I think he will, probably a, um, a Shield Maidens, and then continue to apply pressure to, uh, to Will as quickly as possible to get him at Death's Door. Um, this this uh, lighthouse ended up being a real vulnerability. And the vampires did an admirable job defending it and healing. It would be interesting to calculate how much healing came from those vampires. If you draw all three vampires, then you can heal quite a lot. I mean, I think it was probably 20. It might have even been more than 20. Um, so this is this is very interesting. I think okay. Zach's in trouble, um, but maybe he'll be able to um, oh survive it. We see some damage from um, from the root spider. Root spiders can do two. Uh, shield maidens can do two. That's four. Dapril vampire can do eight. It can do four more for eight. So we have eight damage, followed by um, five more from the clansmen. So I bet Zach is thinking: Is it worth? It's you for four. Is it worth putting? Um will at death's it's door you two. and hope it's you for two and hope that he doesn't have a teleport it's you for five yeah i think that's the right play as it turns out will was incredibly patient saved the teleport and, you. and um so what a play i mean that just shows how skilled he is at piloting this deck um yeah, so it's good i'm yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So Pathfinder moved. If Pathfinder hadn't moved to Holy Ground, there only would have been a teleport. GG's, man. GG's. Incredible wow. game, guys. What a match. Aww. This was absolutely amazing to watch. Congratulations, Will. Thanks. Congrats. Thanks, Congrats. Zach. I, I thought you well, had well fought. Well fought. All those, all those vampires, I did not think I was going to get through it. I... Ira, you've got to go through the footage and tell me how much life I gained throughout I, that entire match. I talked about it. I talked about it on the stream. I don't know. I I predicted at least twenty, but I didn't. But I didn't count yet. So oh, yeah, it's so much more than twenty. Okay. I got okay. Like five. I think I got like five vampire hits plus like a grapple shot and something else. Okay. Okay. So it's <laughs> and a divine yeah. healing. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was <laughs> very frustrating. <laughs> no, no divine healing. But yeah, that, yeah, that was last game. You had divine healing. Yeah, I won this game. Oh, wow. Congratulations, GG. Will. Yeah, can't, that was that was an epic match. That. Yeah. Sorry for all the blunders I made. It's just my mind's like not all there right now. It's late. <laughs> That's that totally was, fine. That was intense. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was super oh, fun. Hey, was... hey, Zach, I'm curious. Were you did you stay in the in the corner um, earlier to hope to draw crater eyes? Is that why you were staying in the corner before? Yeah, that was part of it. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Um, that and it's just like if I go anywhere else, it's within grapple shot range of the avatar. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see what you brew up in season three. Thank you, everybody who watched. Thank you very much to the players. Also, thank you to Eric Curiosa, who donated um, booster boxes of beta for prizes um, for these guys, for everybody who is in the league. And um, really excited to continue in season three. Thank you all very yeah, much. Thanks for running this hire. That was, I mean, was yeah, thanks for hosting. Hey, a lot of work you put in there. Really appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much.